welcome back to the pink envelope. I have the January 2022 Habitation Elite box to show you. I am very, very excited. First and foremost, this is my first official 2022 product. And in that, I mean, you can order it right now and you have until the end of December to order it, but it starts shipping at the beginning of January and it feels so like fresh and like new and exciting. Also, Habitation is a home decor subscription box that has monthly boxes. It's the only one I know of that is shipping monthly. They have two box options, the regular Habitation box and the Habitation Elite. I'm gonna be showing you the Elite today. So this is a spoiler. It is gonna show you what is coming in the January box. So if you don't wanna see that, bounce to another video. I recommend this one right up here. If you're wanting to see, hang tight, we're gonna play with all the products inside. But Habitation, box is a monthly subscription. The regular Habitation box is $79.99. The Elite, which I have here, is $130. There is free shipping with every box and they do offer prepaid discounts. So if you order six months in advance, you save more per box. But you also can use code PINK10 to get 10% off your first subscription. I do have below all of the items, or I will have below all of the items that are coming in this box itemized so that you can check those out. And I have very exciting news for you guys. This box is a giveaway box. I love doing giveaways. I'm so thankful that these box owners eh, work with me on doing giveaways. I enter giveaways all the time. I like to give you guys giveaways. And so to enter this giveaway, you must like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment below what you love about Habitation Box. What of these items I'm about to show you are your favorite and then share with a friend so that they come over and get to hang out with us as well. And that's all you gotta do. I will draw one person to enter to win a box. You must live in the US and you must be over 18 years old to enter this giveaway. But the Habitation box comes with four to six items. This one comes with seven to nine items. And all boxes receive complimentary interior design consultation. And in that meeting, it doesn't have to be like, oh, I got this in the box, how do I use it? You literally can book your consultation and be like, I'm remodeling my bathroom and I need help. I'm stuck on moving this wall or what vanity should go here. And Kelly, who is a professional interior designer, will help you get those questions answered. I think that's probably the most unique and coolest aspect of the box. Okay, I'm gonna grab the item I see on top because it's right here and it's really exciting. We have a set of three nesting boxes. I love baskets. I'm not sure what my deal is. I love baskets. I never have too many baskets. The minute I have too many baskets, somehow I find a way to be running short on baskets. I use these for organizing anything. Kids closets, my closets, bathroom under cabinets, pantry. I feel like there's always a way to use these. Not to mention during the holidays especially, there's so many cute ways you can decorate with these. On shelves, on coffee tables, beside couches and more. So I am a Big fan of what is, even though it's a January winter box, this is a very universal product that can get used over and over and over. So I'm totally digging the baskets. Next, oh, let's grab this because I can see it. And just in case you didn't already know, Habitation is definitely a farmhouse in style. So the style of this box is farmhouse. And you can see that here in this super cute little picture, which, Ooh, depending on the season, half of me wants to stick like, like a bouquet of wildflowers that my kiddos pick, like really an organic bouquet. I don't know if this is, yeah, this would not hold water, but all you have to do is take a little, I don't know, a cup from your cupboard, any kind of mini vase, set it inside and put your flowers in and you can have live flowers growing in this without ruining the tent itself. Let's see how tall, oh, and I can measure these baskets too. This guy is seven inches tall and across the base is about five and a half inches. So that gives you a concept. He's not so big that he wouldn't fit on the shelf. And then the three baskets, this guy is, about nine and a half inches by four and a half. Seven inches by three and a half. Five and a half inches by two and a half. So that kind of gives you a concept on how those guys. And then here is this guy. This is also made out of tin. 
So it is something I would put on my patio because it has a roof and it wouldn't directly be exposed to the elements. So that would look really, really cute out on my patio. Okay. What else is in here? This box is like heavy. Like that's why I was worried about it tipping over. There's gotta be something big at the bottom that I can't see. Greenery, y'all know I absolutely love greenery. In here we have, is it a mini wreath? Yeah, it is a mini wreath, but look. So this is what it looks like now. Let me get my hands in her hair and get her spread out. It is wired, so the branches move really easily into play to, I mean, you could do whatever with. So look, already, look how much I've spread it out. It looks so cute fluff. This is a great greenery. It definitely has a good winter feel, but it's not so wintry in style that you couldn't move it into spring. I don't know if I would have it out fully through summer because it does have more of that frosted winter appeal, but I absolutely love it all the way through mid spring, which means I still have six months or more in Texas at least use out of this guy. This is so cute. So anything back to like, I feel like the mini wreaths are cute because you can stick things in the center like this. So then you could have flowers or picks or stems or whatever coming out the top. But also these are really cute to hang. Like if you have a set of French doors, you can hang them on a door. If you have a blanket ladder, you can use an S hook and hang this on a blanket ladder. Even if you're having just a simple like dinner get together, you could set this down and put an oversized bowl in it and then serve food out of it. These mini wreaths really have a ton of different uses. And I mean, it really also could be as simple as something you pair on the side of the basket going across the shelf to add depth and dimension to what would be a basic basket. So in my opinion, one can never have too many mini wreaths to play with. We're gonna stick a picture in it and set it over here for now because there is still more in here and one of these items is really big. Oh my gosh, okay. So this item is not big, but it is extremely heavy. I wish I could decorate with you guys, but my house like is full on Christmas right now because I'm filming this in early December. But I'm gonna loop back and do more just like general decorate with me's where I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put all this out as soon as I take all my Christmas decor down. There'll be a lot of playing with this, but Kelly also has style guides. So if you go on to the habitation, you can scan the QR code to see all the itemized items in your box but you also can see how she did, she decorated with things. Her style guides are great. And you can see them from past boxes as well. So let's say maybe you don't wanna look at this one cause you don't wanna like ruin anything. You can go back and steal ideas from all past boxes. I love that she does that. What in the world is this super heavy little guy? Like part of me's worried he's breakable. I wanna be careful. Oh no, he's not breakable. He'll do the breaking. Like, it's like cast iron. It is a little cast iron. It says hand wash only, dry immediately, do not let soak in water. Use oil and salt with a stiff brush to clean anything away. So if you grew up in Texas, uh, cast iron is a staple around here. You can cook anything in a cast iron skillet, like just about anything. You could make cornbread, you could make breakfast, and then you most definitely do not wash that guy. Now this is a cast iron pot, so it could be, well, I mean, honestly, you could put salt in there and keep your salt in there, or you could put, I mean, I was thinking I would put marshmallows all in there piling out to do s'mores with because it's winter here and we're doing all the things. I don't know if this is necessarily food safe, like nowhere on here does it say food safe, so you could always just add a liner of wax paper or parchment paper or butcher paper to add a really cute like overflowing element if you want to do real food in it. But, I mean, the cast, this could do a whole bunch of things. Like it's cast iron, you could put a candle in it. You could put, uh, I know this is so old school, but I'm kind of like back in this like whole 90s vibe. Like I don't mind, I'm keeping the mom haircut because I might dig in the 90s mom haircut. I already painted my, re my bedroom the exact green that the Home Alone house was is and I didn't realize that I painted my bedroom like a year ago, but we were watching Home Alone and I was like, oh my gosh, there's my green. So I'm thinking potpourri. I know. I know, where do you get potpourri? You probably get it at like Kirkland's. You probably have to run like Kirkland's or someplace like that to get potpourri, but wouldn't that be so cute poured inside of here? You could even get like evergreen or something to make your Christmas tree if you have a fake one like me smell real. There's actually a ton of things that you can do with this guy. Once again, he would look really cute outside doing something with my patio. It's cast iron, he's durable. 
Okay, totally makes sense why that was so heavy. There is still more in the box. So the Habitation Elite box comes with seven to nine items. We're one, two, three, four, five, six items in. And there's this, which is, I can't tell if it's another set or what we're looking at. But I'm really excited because the wood tones look really pretty. It is a set, so let me get them both out. I love these with my whole heart. I like these items. I think these items are great. I love these. So this is a set of two trays that are the exact same in style except for they're real wood. So as you can see, I mean, the knots are different, you know, the textures are different, but they're two different sizes. I love the raw cut of these. I love the raw texture. I mean, it's not going to give you a splinter, but it's not sanded real fine and, and feels real finished. It has a very great unfinished feel to it. And of course, I mean, it's Christmas, so I'm in this like holiday mode and I legit, okay, hold on. I want this box off my desk. <laughs> There's still another thing in here. Let's pull it out real quick. Okay. Whoa. I'm gonna set it right there. We'll do that in a minute. I legit am sitting here thinking to myself and entertaining, you could absolutely set up some of the cutest servings with this right here. Like, oh my goodness gracious. You could have charcuterie setups. You could lay out, remember, butcher paper can be your best friend because it can go in on around anything to make it food ready. So you could have butcher paper with crackers and cheese or fondue and dips, chips and queso. You could put the same paper through here, have your chips piling out of here. You could have um, uh, steaks with either something sophisticated like a caprese salad sticking out of this guy, or you could have chocolate marshmallow, chocolate marshmallow for kids to pull it out with Graham sitting here literally in the kitchen, in the living room, home decor, hostess, all of these things have more usages than we have time on this video for me to tell you about. I am loving this. The trays just pulled it together. Like I liked it before, like it was good. Like y'all could tell I was vibing, but now it just kind of went next level for me. I am, uh, I mean, well, Oh, that on the table and walk away. It looks cute like this. And then that last item that's sitting over here is a cutting board or a charcuterie board, depending on who and what you're, what you qualify it is. And it's the same thing as this wood down here. It's not a real refined finish. You're not going to get a splinter. It's not going to scratch you, but it has a rough texture and it's just real wood. So you can see right here where it's just, it's patina it's real wood. It, they did not go and try to make everything all perfect on it. It does have a rope so you can hang it, which is like all the rage decorating with cutting boards right now. Honestly, saw it as a paddle also. <laughs> we have a paddle in here. This is so, so cute. So this box, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items shipped to my door for $130. You guys, that is amazing. In fact, in fact, oh poop, do I have it here? No, I don't. Um, I just bought a friend of mine some cutting boards for, that's her Christmas gift. And uh, I want one about, this high, maybe like three quarters of this. It's a little bit thicker, but it looks exactly like this. I paid $60 for one of them. And then I bought another one that's a separate shape, but I paid 40 for that one. So I paid $100 for two cutting boards. And this whole thing, cutting boards, baskets, cast iron, trays, everything was 130. I think that this is a bang up deal. Love the curation, love the quality. If you have any questions about Habitation Box, feel free to leave them below. Kelly will be watching out. She is, her customer service is amazing. She's always watching out. I'll be watching out. We're here to help you answer questions. We're here to help you get subscribed. Make sure you use the coupon PINK10 to get 10% off. And if you're looking for a creative gift to give someone, 
I highly recommend Habitation Box. It's the only monthly home decor subscription I know about, and there's two different levels. So if you're like, hey, I don't love someone $130 a month worth, they have the $79.99 option, which still comes with four to six items, which is really, really good. And don't forget, you can enter to win your very own Habitation Box. Just make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment what you love about this box, and share it with a friend so that they too could hop on and discover some beautiful new things coming in 2022. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye y'all.